ones to the poles. Uh, I'm driving around Brooklyn and dragging them. Yes. Then I'm gonna have a party. Absolutely. Because sometimes senior citizens can't get to the polls. So I'm making myself, I got my trucks. Whoever's available wants to go, we're going to go and move on. Seriously. So you're sure they're all registered? Well, only the people who are registered, obviously. Yeah. The people you don't know? You ask them. No, I ask people all the time. As people come up to me and ask me questions, you know, like fans, I hit them back with, are you registered to vote? How old are you? 18? All right, we're good. Now we can talk. So that's my strategy. And I've been raising money for Mr. Obama. Have you had any bad experiences? At the DNC, I had a big white cop manhandle me. It was unfortunate, seriously, going into the Pepsi Center. Very unfortunate moment where I was interviewing people for AP. So I was, I was uh, videotaping them with a camera that looks like that. And dude just kind of put his hands on me and roughed me up. It was kind of, but I was with Ben Chavis. And Ben started getting emotional because he was marching with Dr. King. And so he said that when that happened, he was having flashbacks about what it was like. Yeah. And then you said you're having a party. Yeah, at my house. You coming? <laughs> He's so cute, you should come. Hey, what's up? Can I get a, um... It was one of those cameras, see that? Oh, yeah? What's gonna happen if Obama doesn't get elected? What, what do you do? mean, he's, he's gonna get elected? I don't even think about... <laughs> yeah. One ounce of doubt and you're out. Failure's not an option. Yeah. There is no backup plan. Can I get a kiss FM Joe Biden. Can I get a kiss FM morning shout out? Don't morning I know song. you? Do I know you? I don't know. You just look familiar? Okay, what are some of your upcoming projects that you're working on right now? What are you working on right now? I just finished a pilot for Fox and uh, this really crazy, the craziest episode of CSI Miami ever. Oh, yeah? Which is, yeah, something they never really do, which is character driven episodes, but um, it's pretty, uh, kind of dark. Murder, suicide, that kind of thing, which I've never done before, which is kind of nutty. But uh, the, it's called Inseparable. Uh, it's like a Jekyll and Hyde show. That's really? All, yeah. Like, all right, what's your character in it? The moral center. Nuh-uh. Uh-huh. How do you come Yeah, what do you do? It's like that she's doing my show, and so that's what happened. So now, how, what, kind of, what kind of things do you stop the character from doing since you're the moral center? Well, see, the Jekyll and Hyde guy is my partner, and I don't realize he's kind of Jekyll and Hyde in the pilot. So he's doing some things that... Uh, BBC! All right. Okay. Hey. How, how, would you, how do you rate Bernie Mac in terms of putting his career in the context of context of what of, of 20th century art? I think Bernie Mac was like the new new hardcore outrageous black comedian. You know, Bernie would always go a little harder than everybody else. You know, and then still had the ability to have the Bernie Mac show work with the kids. He 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 stayed deep in the grind of the family. You know, and and the wildness that goes on in the family. But I don't think he'll. He, you can recreate Bernie Mac from his eyes to his. His, his, his cadence and the way he talked. So I wasn't prepared for this to happen whatsoever. When they told me Bernie Mac died, they had to tell me like three times. So, you know, I can't wait to see this, you know, because I'm, I'm a true fan. It's going to be bittersweet in a way, though. Isn't it? Absolutely bittersweet. Him and Isaac Hayes, you know, and then you go in, you want to laugh, but you got to do what they meant for the movie to, to do. They wanted to make us laugh, so we got to go in it. And fortunately, the, the movie was complete before, you know, it happened. And, you know, this is something, this will be, you know, a landmark movie, you know, that we'll all be able to watch over and over again. So thank God for that. All right, thanks very much, D. That's great. All Thank right, you. Pete. Hey, what's up? Kiss FM morning show shout out? Oh, shit. Kiss FM. What's up? <laughs> it's Ice and Coco. We in the building up here at the Apollo. Oh, oh, what's what's happening? Hey, what's up? What you got the smallest camera in the business? Hey, man. Is it working? mobile. It works. Okay, that's gangster. Trust me, it works. That's gangster. Thanks, Kiss, for all the love and support. <laughs> Appreciate it.
Oh wow, they're getting smaller. Yeah. What's that? <laughs> what are your Halloween plans? What are you guys up to? We got a party at uh, the Pure, uh, at the Plum Nightclub up here on 14th Street. So Coco and I are hosting a little party. That's really it. I can't tell you right now, you know what I'm saying, but it gets, you think Coco likes to get naked? Well, Halloween is just official. So it'll be a lot of skin. I get to get naked, finally! It's a lot of skin. She gonna do her wild thing, you know what I'm saying? So I can't help it. Just one day, yeah. Well, no, she 